back to innovating for a better tomorrow. In India, farming seems to have become the biggest gamble, with most farmers dependent on the weather gods for their water and irrigation needs. A simple innovation has changed that across the country. Drip irrigation, a technique that allows for micro-irrigation of crops, is making sure that small farmers have access to round-the-year water supply. This has led to less wastage of water and larger volumes of crops. And the man securing the lives of 3 million farmers with his drip irrigation is Bhavarlal Jain. He is one of the 80% of India's farmers who owns less than one hectare of land. Rising prices have taken away his ability to cultivate crops round the year. Testing his patience every day and adding to his fury is this life-infusing but fast-depleting resource, water. Even if they go down deep into the home of the Mother Earth, up to 2,000 feet, even then they will not be having sufficient water for irrigation of crops for more than about 17% of the total cultivable area. But standing tall against this tide is Bhavarlal Jain, a farmer himself and the man who has changed the face of Indian agriculture by introducing drip irrigation to small farmers. These farmers, by utilizing this drip irrigation technology today, are not only saving water, improving productivity, but also making their soil better. So that the same land, the same agriculture, can continue to give them again and again for years and years together. Introduced in 1989 in Jalgaon in Maharashtra, drip irrigation replaces the wasteful practice of flood irrigation, where fields are inundated with water to grow crops. Here, however, water is allowed to drip slowly to the soil surface or the root of the plant, aiding what the Jains call precision agriculture, optimizing the balance of water, energy and fertilizers to increase output. The basic concept is that you provide to these plants nutrients and water, both exactly where they need, when they need, how much they need. And if you do it that right, along with the management of the rest of the agriculture practices and agronomical practices, then you have wonderful results. Today, with a revenue of over 50 billion rupees, Jain Irrigation is India's largest producer of micro-irrigation systems, an innovation that has transformed the lives of over 3 million farmers across India with its unique R&D model. We are, the, I think, only company in irrigation business worldwide which has its own R&D farm. And even if you look at other agriculture input companies like fertilizer companies or seed companies, I don't think they have this kind of huge investment in R&D where we have our own farms, I think more than 3,000 acres where active R&D is being done. The Jain Hills, as the R&D farm is called now, serves as a demo farm for agronomists and farmers and is dotted with high-tech laboratories, constantly innovating to make farming more affordable to poor farmers. The innovation that we brought about, basically, we began from the very thought process that we have to make it affordable. And if it is not affordable, it's not going to be sellable. And therefore, right from day one, we would think that would it work for him? Can we miniaturize it? Can we get on to the next level of technology, which will give him better results at the same cost? Even though tailored for small farmers, at 50,000 rupees, the drip irrigation system was a pinch on the pocket. In a bid to encourage more customers, the Jains pioneered a new model of inclusive business, contract farming, which meant buying produce from the small farmers at a guaranteed floor price. Our concern was not just to sell him a technology and product and make money for ourselves, but our concern was that at the end he must do well. Then we decided, why not we start buying from him? So wherein a corporate who wants to buy a large quantity of a given fruit vegetable will contract with the farmer, 
give him X fixed price and at that price the farmer is supposed to give back whatever he grows. Farmers who have transitioned to the Jain's drip irrigation system have seen their annual income rise by as much as 60,000 rupees. The Jains, however, continue to innovate to secure this income for a sustainable agrarian economy. We have set up a non-banking finance company where we are telling the farmer, if you have money, fine, but if we don't have money, we would provide you the loan. And with that loan, you buy an irrigation system, you set up your business, you, you, know, you grow more, you make more money, and then you repay. People talk about inclusive finance, but then charge 28% or 36%. My inclusive finance is at 12%. That is what really matters. Farmers using their brand of drip irrigation systems have recorded increases in yield up to 200%, leading the Jains to take this innovative business model to over a hundred countries across five continents. This is one business which is utilizing only about 4 to 5% of the total potential. So scalability is no problem at all. You, have, you, you, you can increase your business 20 times. I think the future of this industry, uh, not only in India, but the world over, and particularly Africa, for example, now next to India, we are already number one. Many of the three million farmers using Jain irrigation systems today are able to cultivate crops in the most sterile patches of the country, using less energy, less water, and less fertilizer granting India nothing short of a green revolution. Next week, we bring you inspiring stories of two innovations that have changed the face of rural India. Keep watching, innovating for a better tomorrow.